Hey, Brett Weiss here. Um, very cool day today. Not only is it Halloween, I also got this awesome package in the mail. I'm 99% sure it's Art of Atari by Tim Le Lepetino, I think is how you say it. Anyway, let's open it up and see. I just so happen to have a pair of scissors right here. Now, the thing about Art of Atari, a lot of people have been looking forward to this book. A lot of anticipation uh, from the, some of the screenshots I've seen online. It's a really good looking book. And it focuses on sort of an unusual aspect of gaming, which is the art, as it, as it says in the title, as opposed to the gameplay or whatever. Uh, yes, here we go. Art of Atari by Tim, hopefully I'm saying the name right, Lapitino, forward by Ernest Klein, and uh, obviously author of Ready Player One and Armada, afterward by Robert Conte and just a gorgeous thick hardcover book and I've actually seen this book in comic book stores it's published by Dynamite who also publishes a lot of comic books let's just take a look inside lots of screenshots here table of contents some nice Pac-Man art Obviously, well, you got a little history here with Pong and Nolan Bushnell, Ted Dabney, Alan Alcorn. So, it appears, this is actually a history book as well. So, you get a lot of art, a lot of photos, artist profiles. So, it's not just a picture book. You've got a lot of history. You've got profiles on the different artists. A lot of people like that people have never heard of. I mean, Cliff Spawn. Not exactly a household name, but if you get this book, you'll apparently learn quite a bit about him, as well as a lot of the other artists. And the thing about Atari 2600 games, the graphics were very simple, just pixelated, you know, stick figures, squares, things like that. But uh, the covers always look great, and of course, when you play the game, you might be a little disappointed that you're not getting what, at least back in the day, you might be disappointed that you're not getting on the screen what you got in the box but nevertheless the box art is awesome on a lot of these games Superman one of my favorite uh, boxes being a big comic book fan and let's keep looking through even games like like golf I'm not really a, much of a golf fan but I do like golf video games and uh, that art looks really cool Dodge em, very underrated game kind of odd art on that the old school cars when it's actually just kind of a race like top down maze racer anyway go through here obviously lavishly produced very beautiful book and uh... first lady of gaming Miss Pac-Man inner office memos so yeah you do have a lot of history in here artist profile Mark Erickson again not a household name but after you read this book uh, you'll know far more than you did before most likely anyway so there's a nice look at Art of Atari and one thing about video game books I've heard even hardcore gamers say there's sure a lot of video game books coming out kind of a market glut and I'm, and I'm just thinking that's kind of ridiculous because if you compare the video game industry to film, television, music, movies video game books have barely scratched the surface you have very few biographies on about you know programmers, designers, company founders. Um, there's so many areas to explore and just as this book shows Art of Atari, I mean before this book come out I mean even someone like me that studies you know the history of gaming since I write books about video games I don't know that much about the artist and the art itself so this, will, this book will be an excellent addition to my library, to my collection uh, thanks to Tim Lepetino and the publisher of Art of Atari, Dynamite, for sending me this review copy. And uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And um, check out my website, brettweisswords.com. And have a good day and happy Halloween.